Good morning, athletes. What a glorious and good day that we are here together. And thank you for being here. For those who are here physically with me, but for, uh, for specifically for those who are online uh, around the world. And I hope you are all ready for what is coming today and the coming weeks. Uh, because today we start our training together. And we have got less than a year before the Invictus Games start at the 16th of April 2022. And now they are really going to start. So be prepared and be ready for that. Because we have all waited so long. We have been able to train together online. But now it's time to train together in groups and in person. Everywhere around the world here in the Netherlands and in all the other countries. To be able to compete in that great sporting event, the Invictus Games, and specifically in front of our friends and family and to be able to shine for them. Because there is always something magical about watching athletes, and that's what you are, watching the athletes to excel in your chosen sports. And I've missed seeing that. I think we have all missed seeing that. And as you all know, originally we would be started today. Today the games would have been started. So we are doing the practice run. And then we know how far we are and how much we have to train towards 2022. But I know, and all of you, all of you that is the same, I think, and for me personally as well, postponing the games was a big disappointment. And I admire the way that you have dealt with it in those years that we have behind us. The Invictus Games was one of the ma ma major events that were postponed or cancelled because of COVID-19. And we have been, I think, all surprised how big, that ev how big COVID was and how much effect it had on our lives and on our, in this case, sporting events. So it was in those times difficult to look ahead, to look ahead at the activities and the things that we wanted to do and the events that we would like to go to. Because a lot of the future was and is, in a way, still uncertain. But we, we all are used to deal with uncertainties. And the military in all of our countries have stepped up, helping out with medical and logistical support, helping with vaccination, with testing. And we are not out of the crisis yet, but let's be sure we are getting out of it and we will be out of the crisis next year in 2022. So let's look ahead. Let's look ahead to the Invictus Games for inspiration. Not only because we want to look at you to watch the athletes do it, but also because you, specifically you, as veterans, as wounded servicemen and wounded service women, can tell the world a lot about perseverance. You know, you know what it is, what it is to be struck down. You know what it, is have, what it is to have setbacks, but not be defeated. Each of you have struggled. Each of you had had his downtimes. Each of you has felt vulnerable. But all of you have become stronger in the past period, and I know you will be coming even more stronger in the period that lays ahead of us. Because through sports and through solidarity with your teammates and as members of the Invictus Games, you have proven that you are all undefeated. You are Invictus. And from today, we have, like I said, less than a year until the games start in The Hague. So let's not waste any time today. There's a lot of training to do in the coming months, physically, mentally, on all the aspects, but becoming a team will take time for the coming months and period. So I will be joining you today with the Dutch team and start the training sessions for the coming week. Well, I will be here with you today because I will not be able to cope up with you. I'm a runner and a biker, not an athlete as you are. 
so I will not be able to perform what you are able to do, but I will do my best today. And I wish you all a solid, nice and energetic workout today. And we will see each other next year at the Games in 2022 in The Hague. So have fun today, online, and I will give Jacques the moment to shine and give you the training today. Have fun, have a good day, and we will be ready for 2022. This week, we started the countdown to the Invictus Games. Less than a year to go. We are very happy to host you here in The Hague. And I can't wait to meet you all at this great event where we can support you together with your family and friends. And as you know, we all had a hard time during this pandemic. We can all look to our Invictus athletes for inspiration because they know how it is to overcome difficulties and to come back even stronger together. So show us the way, athletes, and see you all in 2022 in The Hague.